Welcome to another episode of the Oxygen Not Included Beginner's Guide series, and this episode I'll actually be going over the newest update, which is called Hot Shots. Um, for a bit of a summary of it, we're going into the details. They've added a new mysterious hermit story trait, a conduction panel, geotuning, uh, the mission control station, as well as a preview of the new Oxygen Not Included skins system, aka, AKA blueprints. They also made some quality of life improvements and dealt with some bugs. So that's kind of the overview. So. First off, they've added the conduction panel that exchanges heat with buildings that it overlaps with, offering a new way to cool down space industry buildings. The problem is when you build in space, there's nothing to pull the heat out of machinery, so it'll overheat. So a lot of people do something like put a drop of water uh, underneath the building to help pull the heat out of the, the building so they don't overheat. Now there's an item to help deal with that. Uh, they've added the mission control station, which uh, broadcasts guidance data that ramps up the space rocket's speed during flight. It needs to be built in one of the new rooms, the lab. Let's have a look at that. So the lab, it needs two science buildings, a light source, no uh, industrial machinery. It can be pretty big. And besides being in that building, it also needs to have line of sight into space. It also enables the use of the Geo Turner. The Geo Turner is used by aiming it at an analyzed geyser anywhere on your asteroid. Send a duplicate over to compile some amplification data, and your target geyser will automatically have a little extra juice, heat, and output wise the next time it is erupting. Uh, another thing they adjusted has to do with private bedroom. Um, your duplicates get a extra large morale boost if they're given one of these private rooms, which needs the comfy bed, no cots. It needs kind of specific sizes, which uh, the height is, and if you built it like I do, it's already accounted for. It's why I've built them to this height anyway. Two decor, no machineries, and you have to do back wall tiles through the entire room, which I believe is like this drywall. Another thing that has been added is a new story trait. So the last update, we received the these two right here. Um, so this is our newest one. Discover a reclusive character living in a relic and persuade them to join the colony. Revelations from their past could have far-reaching implications for duplicates everywhere. Even their makeshift shelter might be of some use. Uh, it seems like the way you persuade him to join your colony is completing tasks, like delivering food. So let's hop in and see if we can find what his building would look like on the map. I have found the Gravitas uh, shipping container. So an unfamiliar building has been discovered in my colony. There's movement inside, but whoever this uh, inhabitant is, they seem wary of us. If we could convince them that we mean no harm, we could very well end up with a fresh recruit and a useful building. So we could knock at the door. Boy, the duplicates are sure slow. <laughs> don't, don't leave. Oh, this person's so much faster. Why is this dude so slow? All right, someone who can actually move is here. And they've knocked. Oh, it's, it's a, a process thing. Oh! Neat, okay. Uh, initial contact was a success. Our new neighbor seems friendly, though extremely shy. They need a little more coaxing before they're ready to join the colony. So we've got to deliver food to the mailbox, improve nearby decor, turn on festive lights. So we need to uh, connect the building to power. So those are the kinds of things you want to do to get this guy to join your colony. The next thing uh, that they have is the Oni skin system, which is a work in progress still. Uh, and they're not really rushing it. They're kind of testing it out here. Um, and the look, it looks like it's going to be something that will be like seasonal or timed drops. Uh, they do have a sampler set. So what we need to do is click the supply closet in the main menu and hit the check 
shipments icon and it has opened a new page for me okay so uh it took me to a new website which was the clay website and then i need to link the clay website to my steam account so here's what we have and then scroll down and i think you can just redeem these okay so we've got some new skins open another some clothes and some other stuff here and a coloring page if you wanted all right now that i have done that i have claimed some of the stuff so now we can actually look at it in game in our supply closet we have all of our options we've got some ooh, wallpaper oh a new bed a new flower pot We've got new artworks that we can use. We've got a new clothes, like new tops, some new bottoms, shoes, and gloves. And then here we have access to all of the duplicates. And what you can do is restyle outfit. Let's say we want her to always have a green shirt. Uh, and then you can save it. So now anytime Ada is printed, I believe she'll default with the green shirt. And we can also save as a copy and rename it. So it's spelled wrong, but that's all right. <laughs> ah, so here we have um, outfits and this is where the testing is saved. I've removed everything from testing, but that's where you'd find it. You could also make default outfits here. We can delete. Um, testing, spelled wrong. Any duplicates assigned to wear this outfit on spawn will be printed wearing their default outfit instead. Existing duplicates in save games won't be affected. Yeah, let's go ahead and delete that. And delete that guy. So we're back to all of our defaults. <laughs> I like these little like thumbnails for each of the characters. So what I'm curious about uh, is, let's go ahead and go to sandbox, for things like the wallpaper, aha! So here when you select drywall, you can then choose the new background. Oh my god, I love it so much. And does it change the cost? I think it's just visual. So these are the ones that we got. And the same for like the... We have the comfy bed, but we can also print the car. So that's kind of the the, ski, the new uh, blueprints, they call them, that uh, they've introduced. I'm super curious to see how they expand this. All right, for some of the changes and improvements, I probably won't go over any major bugs unless I see something that I've noticed. But for uh, changes and improvements, Telescopes and space scanners have changed how they calculate sky visibility. These buildings now can work under multiple layers of glass tiles and denser gases. Uh, renamed phosphorus to refined phosphorus to make it easier to differentiate from phosphorite. Geysers now display an average output once analyzed, now that we can tweak it. Geysers are now renameable. They start with a unique name modifier so it's easier to tell them apart. Oh, reveal the asteroid's surface when you launch a rocket after it's reached space. Some changes have happened to the drywall. Uh, significantly reduced drywall's construction time and construction mass. Drywall now provides a small decor boost. Moving, moved drywall to base building category and it can be researched under the textile production tech and drywall can replace tiles and vice versa. That's very exciting. I've always wanted to drywall my base, but I always felt like it was too expensive. I, originally drywall was really meant to have it so you can have uh, rooms in space, but when you're in space, it's like a vacuum, so you need to put up walls. So that was the main use of it, but I've always really wanted to make the base look nicer by putting in uh, the drywall, but I just never thought it was worth it. Pedestals and sweepy bots now list artifacts and keepsakes before other items. Hmm. 
they have added a camera speed slider to the game's options. So under game, camera pan speed. Oh, very nice. Also, this is a place where you can change like temperature units. In case you guys have ever wanted to do wanted to do that and why mine is on Fahrenheit, but pretty much everyone else's is not. Added names to paintings and statues. Canvases and sculpture bo blocks now let you select a different artwork of the same quality. <gasps> oh. So let's grab this one. Oh my god. The amount of times that I would want different looking art and that just meant I had to delete and rebuild <laughs> was a pain in the butt. So does it take time to re repaint? Oh, so someone will have to come over and redo it. That's still very cool though. Because there was always a problem of you'd get like six of the same painting in a row. But now that's not a problem. Oh, changed the... I, I was kind of... I was half aware of this when I was looking at this earlier when we were looking at the drywall. Uh, they changed it to be a vertical scroll instead of a horizontal. Which I think will be very nice. I don't have a whole lot of options in most of these. Oh, here, tiles. Nope, still. <laughs> but yeah, now we can scroll, which is very nice. They've adjusted the room colors for the various blind color modes that they have. Oh! Uh, in the room overlay, they have moved the... Which one was it? Kitchen. Kitchen to be close to the two other rooms that have to do with eating. Makes sense. Uh, they've done some stuff in the database. Oh, they've added icons into the rooms section, I think. And then they also adjusted the spice grinder. Sorry, I keep smacking the mic. I apologize. So now we can see all the potential recipes. There's not a whole lot just yet. Th this, all I've read through so far, applies to every version of the game. Um, base game only. They added a spaced out store link to the main menu for players who don't already own it. And then for spaced out only, the artifact transportation mode lists artifacts and keepsakes before other items. So that is a very useful, um, sorry, I'm trying to scroll on a different uh, monitor. Um, very useful update. There is quite a few bugs, but I don't know that anyone wants to hear about those. You can also um, check out the uh, patch notes in several places. I'm currently looking at it on the forums because that is where they put in the most in-depth um, details. You can also check it out on Steam, etc. Um, and they also put out a animation to go with the update. And if you do not already do it, please go to their YouTube channel and subscribe. Their shorts are always so good, and they often put them out for any kind of sort of big update. <laughs> like, this only added a couple of things, but it has its own animation, and it's well worth watching. So definitely check out that. Um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed looking over the patch notes for the Hot Shots update. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.